Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm Gailene, if you don't know already. We're going to try some fluid art today. Uh, I'm not real great at this. I've done it a few times. I don't have really good luck with it. Um, and I have tried the fluid art polishes. And I do have a couple of the Baroness X. And I have used, you can see, I've used like half of this and with really no luck whatsoever. Um, it's kind of an iridescent clear and I just, nothing looks good as far as I'm concerned. But I've got this one and I've, I've had it for a few months. Um, oh yeah, no, I've had it for a year. <laughs> so I bought this last June and it is a solar fluid art from Polish Pickup. Um, if I'm a little, no guarantees on how long this video is going to be. I'm probably not going to do much editing. Um, but it turns purple in the sun. So I think I'm going to use this in here because I don't have a pink. And I know my daughter stole it. I know she got it and never gave it back. And I looked through her stuff and I couldn't find it. But she took it I knew she did. Adult children. I wish I got a grandkid out of her. All right. So these are Maniology's uh, neons. And I think, I don't know, these unfortunately don't have the dates on them. But I think they're a couple of years old. But I think they still have them. I'm not sure. Okay. But, um, so I generally use, for fluid art, I use heavy duty silicone spray also had this for years i bought this i either at walmart or on amazon i'm not sure i think maybe i did get it on amazon okay but anyway um i've also seen where people use this sleek and so shine uh, anti-frizz serum and I sacrificed, before Tara stopped making polish, I sacrificed my shutout. I had a couple of them, but I sacrificed one of them because I thought I could just get more. Well, guess what? I can't. She don't have any more. And this is my favorite white. Ugh. And stamping and, and water marbling. All right. Let's not get mad at Tara right now. Uh, but I also have Anne Marie Island from Parrot Polish. She does still have this. And I do really love this one too. I don't know. I don't think I've tried it to stamp with. But it's really good to war water marble with. And a perfect one coat white base coat. That is what is on my fingernails. This has been on my nails for about five days. So I've got chips. I've got whatever. That's fine. This hand... This video is going to be all over the place. This hand is top coated with fast and hard and it's Jolly Rancher scented because I want to test the whiteness of the polishes with this one versus Glisten and Glow. This is non-scented. I have terrible issue with white polishes yellowing on me. And I don't know if you can tell. Now Glisten and Glow is my favorite top coat. And after trying this one, I still like this one better for a quick dry, thick top coat. But I feel like they both yellowed. Not as bad as some of them do. And that's something that I've always said and always heard, that scented top coats are worse. Of course, you you got to stay away from lotion and uh, suntan, like sunscreen and um shampoo soaps even okay this hand i don't know that you can see so much i know i can this finger is really yellow and the tips of these are yellow but i think that might be makeup and stuff that one is pretty yellow that one's yellow um i just don't think that you can see so much on screen but it didn't seem to matter which one i use scented or non-scented Glisten and Glow or the Fast and Hard, they yellowed. It, it just is, is a thing. I don't know. You guys tell me. 
Is it exclusive to me and my chemistry? Because I have some funky stuff when I use polishes that goes on. Okay. So I want to test that out. So that's why it's so chipped up. And I'm not going to really worry about that right now because I'm going to do a decals on these. And I'm going to use um, my shutout, my last one that I ruined with the shining gloss silicone squirty stuff to do this fluid art um, and I went to grab one of my uh, creative shop stampers and I found one in my drawer it's been there for at least a year I did a water marble decal on it I did not put any more like polish on it to peel it off so it's kind of stiff and crumbly um, but I think I can still peel this off and I'm not going to use it today, but there, I mean, that's a water marble decal that I made at least a year ago, probably before I went to, uh, Tara's in Michigan last summer. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know. I think this is parrot polish. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what I used, but it is beautiful and I could definitely for sure still use this. I don't know. It may have been Tara's uh, shifty. I think maybe it is. Maybe it's Tara's shifty. Anyway. I'll set that aside. I'm not going to use that today. All right. Got a little sil silicone mat here. Uh, these kind of wrinkle when you put a bunch of polish on them. So I kind of do like using like maybe a butter dish lid, the inside of it, because that's a little stiffer and it doesn't like warp so bad. This kind of warps, but I am going to use this to kind of, uh, when I put that pile on to kind of squish it and see what we get. Um, I'm just not sure what I'm going to do here. Let me just get the lids off of all of these. Oh, look, I did, I, <laughs> I used that, um, sorry, truck going by. With this Baroness X, I can see it. I used this, I tried it with that. Let's put some of this down first and like I said this is the white that I ruined maybe ruined maybe didn't ruin Ugh. gross Blech. trying to make one with that all right so I'm gonna pour a little of this it's kind of runny with that Spread that out. And I didn't know how much to use. I don't know. I think I put a couple pumps in there. a little of each color out here probably run a toothpick through it maybe or something you know that one's kind of chonky it is definitely Trying to grow cells already. Okay, that one's not wanting to come out. Oh, probably because you've used it all, Guylaine, and water marbles and stuff. No, it's a little thick. I don't know why. Grab a little toothpick here and Kind of do a little swirling. 
probably not near enough polish. And I'm going to just kind of squish it in, spin it a little. Um, that looks like it's doing pretty good, and I got some good stuff going on there. Take another stamper and See what we can get from that. I don't know. I'm tempted. Should I fold it? Um, generally, I do. Should I? Do I want to? I don't know. Go for it. <gasps> Too late. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's let these dry and see if we can peel them off and make something out of them. All right, so I definitely feel like I shouldn't have squished that that last time. I shouldn't have folded it. I should have just squished it maybe again with something else. But anyway, um, while that's over there drying, I'm going to do another one and try to use the Fairy Floss, the solar. I don't know what to put with it though. It's like it's gonna have to be something that pink and purple are gonna do well with, which I don't know. I this pink is ugly. It's just the <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Um maybe I'll just do white in that and see what happens. Um in the meantime, who do you guys want to see the Walmart box that I got? Um I just noticed that this has Beauty Box 2022 Space NK. I just bought this. It's new again. I had the Beauty Box from Walmart like a couple of years ago and then they stopped making it. And then I saw it was, they had it again and then they had this one, which is just the base box. And then there's one that's a little more advanced and it's just seasonal. But I just noticed that it says 2022 it's from last year well what's the deal what's up with that so i'll do one i'll do that video by itself or whenever i get the the other box the bigger box too i'll do both of them and then give you the prices and stuff if you guys want to see it if you don't i'll just open it myself and i won't share okay here we go fairy floss I guess I could use them both, whatever. I don't really like this color for sure. I don't know why. I just got it because it's solar. All right, let's put some of this down. Spread it out a little. And this I'm definitely just going to fold, I think. White. Ugh, I hate to waste my white. I've got to get some more. Um, all right, let's try some blue. Should try some sparkle of some kind. Hollow, I don't know. It's going to look like a baby shower or something. Uh, okay, I don't know. Let's put some of this on here. Oh, you're wasting so much polish, Gailene. That's been sitting here for two years. Haven't used it yet, so whatever. All right, let's... Um, 
smush it. Yikes. I mean, not great. Uh, Michelle Bean Rose is the fluid art queen. I don't know. I guess it's got a couple, but I mean, it's not really that great. I just really don't think it's that great. What do you guys think? Like, blue. I don't know. All right, let me put my light on it. I don't know. Maybe it'll be pretty. It's really not that great. I just like spray better. I just like silicone spray better. All right, we'll let that one dry too. All right, so I took a little, this dried, I left it all night, I didn't get back in here. Uh, this is Wet n Wild Clear Nail Protector. I don't know at this point where to tell you get this. I just got online and went to Wet n Wild and ordered 10 of this in their mat. Dollar Store used to have it. Walmart used to have it. Walgreens had it. Dollar Tree sometimes has it, I guess. I don't ever go on the Dollar Tree, so. Okay. Here's what we have. So I'm going to, I put a, a pretty thick coat of that over. And I'm just gonna peel this off of all these. Uh, sometimes you have a little bit better on one side than the other. Mm, not in this case. <laughs> Definitely like this side better. Um, there's another one. I like that one. And if you start to peel it up and it's too crispy, just stop. <laughs> Put some clear, um, not fast dry. Some base coat maybe. Something that doesn't dry really stiff. That one's okay. I mean, that's the one I squished and then wished I hadn't squished. And there's the one that has the solar. I mean, I definitely like it better with it all blue. I really just don't like that pink. So, I don't know, we can get a few nails out of this. I'm just gonna cut them. And I'm gonna take sticky base coat. This one is Maniology, got several. And I mean, don't put a really thick coat of that on there. Just an even coat. And then just pick up a decal and put it on the nail. Push it down and form it. Be careful because it's going to be kind of slidey right now. But you can slide it in position. And it will kind of stretch at this point. And just take your scissors and continue to trim it. And you're going to do that to all your nails. You can also, ow, <laughs> hit my elbow. You can also take your stamper and just kind of push that down and form it. And again, you're you're just gonna stretch out any any wrinkles that you have. Uh, now I'm gonna use a cleanup brush and some acetone. Fill up my acetone. And you wanna dab off the ex excess and go ahead and seal it around the edges. Okay. 
Um, uh, this, I, I feel like my, my sticky base coat was too wet. I didn't let it just set up enough, so I got a little wrinkle in. But once I tap top coat, I don't think I'm going to be able to see that. Get all around all the edges. And again, I'm using fast and hard. Now, I don't know. It, it's good. It's good. You get used to one thing and you try to switch to something else and, you know, I haven't really tried it that well, that, that long, just a couple of times, so. But it seems to be smoothing out all these edges really well. And before that gets too dry, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm cleaning up. I want to get really to the very edge so that I don't have any shrinkage. Like men when they get in the pool, evidently. But it definitely is smoothing out all those wrinklies and bumps and helps seal it all down. So I for sure could do an entire hand out of one of these blobs or two stamped images. I think that turned out really cute. I love this one and this one are my favorite. I don't know. That one's pretty good. They're all good. I like them all except they don't like the colors of that. But are you guys? Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for a little fun video here at the end. And I'll put links to everything that I used down below. And discount codes are down there if you need them. Bye. Update on the video you just saw with uh, Casey and Lucas wrestling around on the floor and Augie going crazy. Just after I stopped filming, Augie did a couple of laps around the coffee table, got the zoomies, went around real fast, and then was spinning in a circle, and then jumped up on the couch with me and spun around and smashed into my head. And I had an earbud in, and it shoved into my ear. I had to dig it out. He hurt my neck, sloshed my brain sideways like I needed any more help with my brain, but it's okay because Lucas gave me brain surgery. He went cut, 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 shove, 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 and he gave me a new brain. So hopefully that's going to help me. Can't hurt. <laughs>